Hi Church, welcome to day three of our five-day devotion on knowing God. Today we're going to look at his name, Jehovah Nissi, the Lord is my banner, mighty warrior, victorious. Exodus 17 verse 15 says, and Moses built an altar and called it, the Lord is my banner. Scripture shows us, us how God brought victory to the Israelites as they defeated the Amalekites, a mighty army that had risen up against them. Moses knew that it was God that had helped them, that it was Jehovah Nissi. There are numerous instances where God spread his hand of protection over his people and kept them safe from their enemies. We see it in Exodus when God caused the, the parted waters of the Red Sea to return uh, and crush, crash down on the armies of Pharaoh, yet the Israelites crossed safely on a dry riverbed. In Judges 7, God kept Gideon and his 300 men safe, who were armed only with trumpets and torches inside empty pitchers as they attacked the midnight camp, numbering 130,000 men, and they were victorious. 1 Samuel 17, God protects David, a shepherd boy, from the prowess of a giant Goliath of Gath, who is a seasoned warrior and the, and, and the fear of the entire Israelite army that God kept and saved David from that. Jehovah Nissi is the name that proclaims God's declaration uh, and promise to always protect his children and to deliver them from their enemies. In 2 Corinthians 10, 4 to 5, it states that our adversities do not come in the form of flesh and blood, but are spiritual. This means issues rising against us today, against you today, financial issues, lack um, of finances, health and relation, relationship issues, all have spiritual roots that can be addressed by calling out in prayer to God and declaring him as protector and deliverer, Jehovah Nissi, who watches over me. Jehovah Nissi, the Lord is my banner. Love you, church. Have a great day. Speak that over your life. Jehovah Nissi.